Welcome to an exclusive skill capped guide for BFA patch 8.3. Throughout the final season of BFA, we'll be releasing select guides from our site here on YouTube. If you're interested in seeing more new content like this every week, alongside our exclusive matchup review series in which we cover in detail exactly how to win the hardest and most popular matchups, head over to skillcap.com. Hi everyone, Joe Fernandez here, and I'll be going over another Knowing Your Enemy guide on the four major ways to counter survival hunters. So let's get started with one of the essential parts of survival hunters being to avoid traps. Hunters can reliably trap during stuns on healers. So if you see there's a stun with no dots on your healer, they will most likely be getting trapped by the hunter. If survival hunters do this often with pressure on the DPS, this can easily lead to forcing big defensive cooldowns or landing kills. Luckily for most classes, there's plenty of ways for you to avoid traps. A simple and yet highly effective way is to crowd control the hunter during the stun on your healer, so it would be difficult for them to get a later follow-up trap, stopping their chain and slowing down the game. If you're a demon hunter or a warlock, then you're in luck, as you have the best tools for this as well. Simply dispelling the trap when it lands on your healer will be an excellent way to remove it completely. Another nice dispel for it is the mass dispel. Granted, this is a bit less effective due to having to cast it, which can be disrupted by the enemy jungle. The last way to avoid traps is to try and eat the trap for your healer as a DPS player. This will be a bit random, but if it works, you can free your healer from it, as well as remove any harmful dots on yourself from eating the trap. If you are reading the mind games well between the hunter, you could also look to preemptively use cooldowns, as we see Brain do here. A preemptive sack like this will break the trap and once again nullify the trap. This can be a very risky play, but it can be a worth it one to do if you pull it off. If unable to avoid traps this way, then fear not, you can still look to play around them. If you are full HP when the trap lands and know they are going to have follow up crowd control, you could look to stop it which will most likely mean you're fine. You may also look to simply kite away during this time in order to take reduced damage and simply weigh out the trap if all else fails. The next way to counter survival hunters, which isn't nearly done enough, is to harass their pets. Pets give hunters a lot of extra damage, as well as Roar of Sacrifice, Freedom and the Mortal Wounds debuff. These cooldowns can be highly valuable in certain situations, like here with Roar of Sacrifice to counteract Combustion. It's probably the best defensive cooldown for Combustion, being able to trade for it and reduce its damage significantly. So if you kill these pets, they lose a ton of value, forcing them to res them, otherwise they will be severely hindered throughout the game. Cleaving pet or even focusing it could be worth to take it down, then interrupt the hunter if he tries to res the pet. Most of the time you will force Aspect of the Turtle just so they can res their pet, making them extremely vulnerable. Reaping Flames can also be an excellent way to finish off pets. It will also proc the 100% increased damage, allowing you to have an absurd amount of extra pressure. Crowd control in pets makes them unable to use their abilities, as well as make mortal wounds fall off, so you can have an easier time to get pressure or relieve pressure yourself. Combining this when you want to burst the hunter like we see here with combustion, it can be a very deadly effect. Seradium does a good job of this, which forces out a late Roar of Sacrifice, as well as Dilly's Aspect of the Turtle. Some classes can dispel poisons, which is an excellent tool to have against survival hunters. Latent Poison and Serpent Sting make up for a huge chunk of survival hunters' damage. Hunters will want to spread these poisons onto as many targets as possible, so by denying its uptime by spam dispelling them, this will reduce the hunter's pressure a lot. It will also force them to reapply the dots again, being quite tedious for them to do so. Hunters are also quite a squishy class too, so it can be a good idea to pressure the hunter when they are playing overly aggressive. By going on them, you can make it harder for them to trap, as well as create a lot of pressure, being squishy and only having two big defensive cooldowns, being the aspect of the turtle and the exhilaration. As melee cleaves or melee players in general, hunters are very vulnerable as you can cleave them down quite easily, especially along with their pets, as we've stated before killing these is also quite big. By punishing their overaggression or slaying them whilst they are in, can easily force them to kite or use defensive cooldowns, or even in this case, land kills. 
If unable to pressure the hunter where you should and let them live freely, this can easily be your demise as hunters will have too much control if they are able to get their CC off. So make sure you punish their aggression if they're harassing your healers so that your healer can have an easier time to keep you alive. That concludes the four main ways to counter survival hunters. Hope this guide helped out a lot and as always, feel free to leave any comments or questions down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.